Thanks for joining this how-to screencast, brought to you by Salesforce Support. Before we dive in, let's take a look at what you'll learn. Introduction to CRM Analytics for Financial Services. We'll review three use cases, wealth management, retail, and insurance. Then, we'll take a look at how to enable and set up CRM analytics, set up user access permissions, review Analytics Studio, and templated apps, and create a custom app from a pre-built template. Hey there, financial enthusiasts. Welcome to our exciting journey through Salesforce CRM Analytics for Financial Services. Whether you're a financial planner, banker, or insurance expert, CRM Analytics can be your secret sauce for success in the financial industry. Today, we're going to explore how Salesforce CRM Analytics can empower you with data-driven insights. First, we'll explore what CRM Analytics is, how it can benefit your organization, and demonstrate how to set up and use CRM Analytics for financial services in Salesforce. Get ready for an enjoyable learning experience. Let's kick things off with the basics. What is CRM Analytics? It's like having a financial crystal ball. CRM Analytics is a fantastic feature within Salesforce that helps you visualize and understand your customer data better. It's your secret weapon to make informed decisions and excel in the financial world. To really grasp this, Let's dive into real life scenarios. Imagine you're a wealth manager and your client wants to invest ethically. With CRM Analytics, you can quickly identify sustainable investment opportunities that align with their values. Who needs my attention? Single out clients at risk of possible attrition or who may need extra attention? Shows clients who have withdrawn funds, lost funds in the market, or logged cases with customer service. Who are my top clients? Organize specific clients based on their wallet share and length of relationship with the company so you can see which ones require most attention. What demographics do I serve? Better understand the profile of a typical client and high net worth clients. Categorize clients by net worth, length of relationship, geography, and other criteria. Are clients reaching their goals? Identify clients who may need help progressing toward their financial goals. Shows progress toward goals by client type, percent completion of goals, and size of goals. If you're in retail banking, CRM Analytics helps you understand customer preferences and offer personalized financial products. Give branch managers and retail bankers full visibility into customers, deposits, leads, referrals, branch activity, Regional managers and personal bankers can also take advantage of insights from the dashboards to increase loans and deposits, as well as customer satisfaction. Key performance indicators also help you build your retail banking business by increasing higher referral conversions, accelerating loan applications, and building customer retention. This leads to happy customers and increased revenue. For insurance professionals, CRM Analytics aids in assessing risk profiles streamlining claims processing, and predicting customer needs. It's like having a crystal ball for risk management. Give agents and managers insights on their sales performance, team's performance, leads, and opportunities. Agents can grow written premiums by segmenting the customer base and get insights on upsell slash cross-sell opportunities. Now, let's get practical. Here's how to enable CRM analytics in your org. Log into your Salesforce account. Go to Setup and find Analytics, and click Getting Started. Then, click on Enable CRM Analytics, and watch the magic unfold. As a side note, if you do not see Analytics in your setup, make sure you have been assigned a CRM Analytics license. It's essential to grant the right people access to CRM Analytics. To do this, from Setup, enter users in the Quick Find box, and then select Users. Click the username with the System Administrator profile. Click Permission Set Assignments, and then click Edit Assignments. Select both the CRM Analytics Plus Admin and FSC Analytics Admin Permission Sets. Click Add, then click Save. Once you assign a permission set, a license will automatically be assigned as well. Repeat these steps for all users who need to create and manage CRM analytics for financial services. All users that will be using and interacting with the dashboards and apps created in CRM analytics 
will require at least a CRM Analytics Plus user and FSC Analytics user permission set. Otherwise, they will not be able to access the dashboards both in the CRM Analytics environment and with any embedded dashboards. Once we have set the correct permissions and our users are set up, we can install and customize the templated apps. Now, in order to get into the CRM Analytics platform, once you have the right permission sets and licenses assigned, go to the App Launcher and type in Analytics. And now, select Analytics Studio. Welcome to the heart of CRM Analytics, the Analytics Studio. The good news is that you do not have to start from scratch. With Financial Services Cloud Analytics, you can click Create, App, and see a list of pre-built templated apps for your specific use case, including some for various financial services like insurance, wealth management, or retail banking. Now, let's suppose you're in wealth management. For this, let's use the wealth management template. Select it and hit continue. Here is an overview of what this template includes. Now, select continue once you are done reading through the overview. You can either create a brand new app or select the existing answers from an existing app. For this use case, We'll create a brand new app and then select Continue. Now CRM Analytics will check to see if your org meets the minimum requirements for this templated app. And you can hit Looks Good Next. Now, within the Customization Wizard, you can answer each of these questions individually to fit your specific use case, starting with the first one here. This first one is about the security predicates, or row-level security, within your app. Up next, we have information including the trending data and visualizations. Would we like to include that or no? That option is here. After that, you can select applicable record types for personal and individual accounts. Now, hit looks good. Next. This next question surrounds the option to include commissions and fees through an external file upload. The option after that includes the option to include quotas, again, through an external data upload. After that, make sure you have already enabled lead history tracking in order to include lead history charts on your dashboards. Finally, you have the option to include financial account transaction charts in dashboards. Once you have customized this customization wizard to your specific use case, click Looks Good, Next, and Name You App, and click Create. And now, CRM Analytics will create your templated app, including the datasets, data flows, and dashboards necessary for this app. Once your application is complete, it will say, Application Complete. And you will have the option at the upper right-hand side to click Open. For now, we're just going to go into an existing app in order to see what this application would create. Now, from here, I can click Run App. There are many pre-built dashboards available. Here, we see one surrounding client acquisition. For other options, I can look at some embedded views that I can put into my client record pages. Or, I can take a look at the Financial Advisor home to see more information for my financial advisors. There are many pre-built dashboards within a single templated app, and there are many templated apps to accomplish your specific use case. And now, before we wrap up, here are some specific tips. In order to make sure your data is as up-to-date as it can be, you're going to want to make sure to schedule your data flow to run. In order to do that, you're going to want to go into your data manager. For this, you can click the setup gear icon and then click data manager. Within your data manager, these templated apps are going to be created off of data flows. So now, go into manage data flows at the lower left hand side of your screen. From here, go to data flows and recipes and find the data flow for your templated app. Now for this app, make sure that it says scheduled. Click the drop down for your app's data flow and click Schedule. You will have two options, time-based and event-based. For time-based, we recommend just starting out with once a day. You can schedule by hour. We'll start this at midnight, running every 24 hours and selecting every day of the week. Then hit Save. Your event-based options will allow you to run this data flow either after your local connection syncs, selected data flows or recipes run, or both where the local connection sync runs and the selected recipes or data flows run. For this templated app, we're going to keep this at time-based, again selecting every day, and then hit Save. The last recommendation that we have for up-to-date data includes making sure that your data sync runs frequently as well. For this, go to your data manager. 
Now click Connections. Your SFDC underscore local connection is what connects back to your main Salesforce environment. It is essential that this gets run first and all of your data flows and recipes get run after. For this, let's click the dropdown of SFDC underscore local and click Schedule. We'll run this by hour and we're going to want to make sure that this runs before our data flow. So for this, let's go ahead and run this at 11.30 p.m., running every 24 hours. And we'll do this every day and click Save. Before we wrap up, here are some top tips. One, keep your data up to date for accurate insights. Two, collaborate with your team. Brainstorming can lead to incredible insights. Three, don't be afraid to experiment with different visualizations. Four, continuously learn and explore the fantastic resources Salesforce offers. There you have it, financial rock stars, Salesforce CRM. Analytics is your ticket to data-driven success in the financial services industry. So, go ahead, enable CRM analytics, give your team access, and dive into Analytics Studio with those fantastic pre-built templates for industries like wealth, retail, banking, and insurance. For more detailed information and comprehensive documentation, please visit us at help.salesforce.com or join the vibrant Salesforce Trailblazer community at trailblazer.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.